What's up, King Van? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday so far. If this is your first time visiting the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. It is a pleasure to have you here. We are continuing down the track list for a very Backstreet Christmas, the Christmas album from the Backstreet Boys. Today we find ourselves on Silent Night. And I keep thinking that we have only two or three more to go, but now I really think we have three more to go. I can't remember what's next, but I know that we have Happy Days and two more that I can't remember what they are. And I, I, we have the two originals that are on the album that we haven't done yet. Happy Days is one of them, I believe. And then there's another Christmas classic that's on there. Um, so we're going to wrap this up pretty soon. I told you I was going to finish this. Um, I didn't think it was going to be too uh, this long, uh, but I took two days off this week. Shame on me. Uh, but I'll wrap this up by Friday. So today's Wednesday. Knock out the rest of them between Thursday and Friday. We'll knock them all out. Get the album wrapped Backstreet Boys, Silent Night. Let's dig into it. Before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Make sure notifications are turned on. Check out the description box. You'll see all these different links on social media to follow us on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Join the discussion over on Discord. And as always, drop suggestions and requests for future reactions down in the comment section. Keep doing your thing. It's Wednesday. Get over the hump. The weekend will be here before you know it. And then the, the year will end. It will start it all over again. January 1. Let's go. Ooh, B Rock. Harmonies came in. Oh my snap! Woohoo! That's that finished BSB baby. Chills. Go back to Brian. Go back to Brian. Man, that was nice. You know, I wanted to go back to Brian there, but you know, you can stay, you can stay in the harmony. That's fine with me. What do I know? Why have I, why have I just now noticed Kevin going, we got duck lip. I have not noticed this the whole time. Like duck lip, Kevin, let's go. Very nice. The mixture of harmony that's going on there. Sometimes it's two of them, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's all five of them. Golly, that's crazy how they're just dipping in and dipping out like that. That's nuts. So much going on there, like audibly. I can't even, so I can't even pick out who's doing like the main lead, some and, and who's doing the har what harmony. It's crazy. It's it's just it's such a good blend. You can't. I can't even pick out who's doing what. Christ the Savior. I think maybe Kevin was doing the main thing there, but I wasn't even trying to listen to it. I was just, I wasn't even trying to listen for that. I was just enjoying all of it together. That's like, you know, that right there's like trying to go through like your trail mix and just trying to pick out individual little things. I'm just grabbing a handful and just eating all of it right there. That's what I was doing there. Wasn't trying to pick out all the little different ingredients of the trail mix. Just eat, I just eating it all up. I got a feeling... Jesus 
repeat that name. Jesus, Lord, oh my gosh. The ending of that was insane. So much shifting going on. So much shifting going on in there. Golly. Golly, dude. These men did not... These men did not take making a Christmas album... Uh, they did not take it for light. You know, they did not take it lightly. Some people will just do a filler Christmas album. Hey, let's do a Christmas album and just kind of just fill in the gap between, you know, main releases. This is a full out production. This is not just, oh, the Backstreet Boys finally did a Christmas album. <clears throat> this is the Backstreet Boys did a Christmas album. My wow, dude. I don't know if I have ever heard an entire album so far of, of every single song with this much care, this much quality, this much effort into every single song on the album. Like they did not take this lightly. These boys do not just release, like let's just do a garbage album that's just whatever, you know. They have put a consistent sound in this. That every song on this album so far has had that consistent a new age classic vibe. Everything has had a classic sound, but with new age vocal harmony, like old school feel with a new age twist to it. It's had that, it's got that backstreet twist to it. And no five voices in the entire world can make a blend that sound like this. Now I understand that it's their five voices. So of course that can't happen. I'm talking about quality of voice blending. That is they have something that a lot of other folks don't have. And this is 30 years of experience and just knowing what to do. These guys fit the puzzle of vocal harmony. It's insane. This whole, almost the whole song was in harmony. Like there was almost at least two, three part the entire way outside of Brian's opening. Amazing absolutely amazing this is hands down one of the best versions of si top three i've ever heard top three i've ever heard of silent night by anybody across any genre whether you are singing in high school and singing professionally this is definitely top three amazing i'm so I, i'm i am so this is gonna sound i don't know i'm so proud of them for not using this as a throwaway project just to put an album out. Like, I'm glad that they waited a year, that they that they delayed it a year. Probably added, probably, probably put more effort into it. That extra year probably gave them the opportunity to season it up a little bit more. And, dude, they have delivered on this album. This is one of the best back not just best Christmas albums. This is one of the best albums the Backstreet Boys have ever put out. Regardless if it's like all original material or this is this album right here is just fire, dude. This is one of the best albums they have ever put out. Hands down. This is up here like like I love Never Gone and I think Never Gone ne never got it's never got its fair it's fair shake. Like never gone is like th that album. DNA is that album. Uh, the experimentation with, um, with different kind of sounds, uh, in a world like this is that album. Um, you know, I like the black and blue. I like the millennium, but all of that was that was that sound back in the day. Like, you know, it's, it was a deviation from, you know, that them in sync, Brittany, you know, they all kind of had that same sound in that time period. It was after that time period when you got your never gone and in a world like this and, and even, um, you know, unbreakable. And, um, what was the other one? There was unbreakable. What was the other one? I forgot. Uh, 
This Is Us. Yeah, This Is Us. Uh, I think that's the name of the album. Uh, that's when they started really, really exploring that sound. Like really trying to explore that sound outside of jive and outside of j just that, that 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 stereotypical pop sound. And man, they I'm, and I know I'm just going on right now. Probably everybody's clicked off of it at this point. Uh, but I got to get this out, dude. Um, for them to continue on and continue to reinvent themselves and continue to find where they are and where they want to be going, you know, going forward. Like, not a lot of groups keep doing that. And, and the Backstreet Boys keep finding ways to get better and better and better. They don't just stay in the lane. They're constantly outside of the box, finding ways to make things better. And they did not stop on the Christmas album. They could have just said, oh, let's just do a Christmas album. Whatever. Let's just throw some stuff together. Throw it out there. It'll be fine. People will eat it up. No. They put a lot of work and effort into making sure that all of these tracks were pristine, beautiful crazy wow i've gone on and on and on i am done but thank you for letting me get that out i love this this album is one of the best albums they have ever done hands down one of the best christmas albums of all time i said what i said uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the like button make sure notifications are turned on check out the description box and see all of our social media links follow us on tiktok twitter instagram join the discussion over on discord and drop your comments your thoughts on the on the audio your thoughts on what i had to say about it let me know what you think about the album do you echo my sentiments uh what do you add do you detract from it like do you not agree with me whatever you want me to know drop it in the comment section we will be finishing off this album tomorrow and friday so please keep coming back uh, like I said before, it's Wednesday, so keep doing your grind. We're in the middle of the week. We're also in between Christmas and New Year's, and I challenge you to look back to the beginning of this year and think about where you thought you would be versus here at the end of the year where you are. See where things change, compare and contrast your thoughts to where you actually are, and then use that to look forward to 2023 and come up with a yearly goal. Where do you want to see yourself going in the new year? So I challenge you to do that. Start goal setting. If you don't do that, it will change your life. Uh, with all this being said, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you guys on the next one.